How's it going, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Fast Sounds Gaming. I'm your boy, Fast. So, if you didn't already see the news, the new hero that I've been talking about, Moblin, is coming out. He will be on the test server. Now, they've already given you, technically, the name of the skills. I'm going to give you the full stats of the skills of Moblin. Um, if you also didn't know, they are planning to ner nerf Enul now. Um, so, let's talk about that first. Now, supposedly, from what I've been told, because now that they have nerfed Grimm, they have no choice but to nerf Anul. How I have been led to believe, or how, what they have led me to believe, is how they're going to nerf Anul, is that from now on, she will only hit the front row, and with her bounce mechanic, which will also be changed, and the damage will be decreased. So basically... Her bounce mechanic is going to be changed, and she'll do less damage, and she'll only hit the front row. That is what I have been told is what they're leading to. We'll see if that actually is what they end up doing. Um, but if that is the case, then the new hero, Moblin, might have a chance. Now, let's get on to him. So first off, his active skill, Commanding Shout, does 150% attack to the front to backline enemies yes he only hits the backline but guess what right now in this meta what's always going to be your backline it's always going to be the main attacker correct correct so that means like you just saw most people running the 401 formation and most people are running it with a newel so as of right now what you're looking at is kind of what this is kind of the setup people are running um now, if Grimm ends up being horrible, then it is what it is. Now, that is just the first part. He also will decrease the accuracy uh, by 80% for three rounds. So that means the back line is going to take 150% damage of his attack, and their accuracy will be reduced by 80% for three rounds. That's pretty good. Um... Having 80% accuracy just instantly gone. And that's why when I first saw Moblin, that was kind of what I was thinking is, okay, so this is kind of their way to do deal with a Newell. But obviously a Newell needs to be nerfed for this to really take a hold. Um, next is his passive skill, combative. Increase attack by 30% for Moblin for each hero that gets hit by Moblin's normal attack. So... Obviously, PvE, when you have a whole front back line, he's going to get 30% attack for each of those heroes. Obviously, if it's only one, he's only going to get an increased attack by 30%. Next is sneak in. Normal attacks tur uh, turns into dealing 80% of attack damage to all back line enemies. Increase attack by 20% and CC resist by 60%. Um, so he's going to have 60% CC resist and 20% increased attack. Um, so obviously this hero is really big about pumping himself up and eventually hitting harder. And you'll see that even more so in this next, in his final passive skill, Stay Strong. Now, people who have seen Charon and the last hero, Suron, Sur Surus, um, Surus, the weaker, the harder... He got hit the weaker he got. That's not the case for Moblin. Um, it's actually the complete opposite. Um, Moblin's eight, when Moblin's HP is um, between the ranges of 60 and 95%, increase 20% uh, crit rate, 25% crit damage. So between 60 and 95, he gets 25% crit damage and an increase of 20% crit rate. When Moblin's HP is below 60%, so this is when he's getting to the point where he's going to start dying, he has increased, he will increase his crit rate by 40% and crit damage by 50%. Um, so that means his crit rate and crit damage go up compared to some of the other heroes who went down. So that means that obviously the harder he gets hit, the harder he can hit back. So... But hitting the backline enemies, and obviously you want him to, he's going to be increasing his attack. Obviously he's an assassin. So right off the bat, you're going to be looking at more than likely armor penetration talent on this guy. 
Um, you're probably going to want speed as well, possibly because you want to hit faster. Again, it really will come, come down to does obviously, obviously the link. We don't know what the link is. I don't know what it is yet. So the link will matter. I'm guessing it'll have something to do with either increased attack, speed, or CC resist. Because I did tell them that first off, when I looked at Moblin, if he's supposed to be the annual counter, then A, he either has to be tanky like a, a Rel, who is an assassin, who is a tank, or you have to be faster than, say, Zali or Hernada. You have to be either have a way to sustain yourself and live, or you need to be faster than all the other attack heroes. So that's Moblin. Basically, he increases his attack. He can uh, reduce the backline's uh, accuracy by 80% for three rounds, increases his crit rate and crit damage, um, depending on his life total. And then, obviously, he increases his CC resist. And more heroes in the back line, the more damage he will be increased. Um, so, yeah, there's that. A Newell, potentially only going to hit the front line, reduced bounce damage. And then the next big thing is, if you didn't already know, um, Summoners are in a little bit of trouble. Um, there's a new game out called Magnum Quest. If you haven't already seen it, it's... It is really good. Um, I recommended it to a few players, and it's taken off. Uh, honestly, it's probably bigger, going to be bigger than Raid Shadow Legends. Um, if you haven't already checked it out, I would honestly, but Summoners Era, you've got some competition because the cat community is just going so strong. Everyone's so committed to it. The game is really good. It's fun. The developer te development team is super friendly. You've got competition. So I'm just warning you now, you're already losing players to this other game. Um, I know of at least 15 players from Summoners Era that have already moved over to this game. Um, but yeah, Magnum Quest is definitely going to be a thing. So if you haven't already checked it out, I will leave a link in the description down below. Um, I'm a gamer, so I'm always going to tell you guys about games I like, even if it's on Summoner's Era. It is what it is. Anyway, I hope the Moblin has a chance to shine, because he's free-to-play. He's going to be a free-to-play hero, basically, because he's a normal faction. He's fire. So, hopefully this works out for normal heroes. If not, don't hate on him, because guess what? He's still going to be really good for your PvE content. Um, obviously. Anyway, have a great day. Peace.